ascended up far above all heavens. Far above all heavens. If he did say the heaven, would think maybe, like Paul says, I went to the third heaven. Maybe he ascended above the first heaven and the second heaven. No, he says he ascended above all heavens. All heavens. So God lives above all all heaven. So God doesn't live in heaven. Now, if he doesn't live in heaven, we have a problem because Genesis 1 verse number 1 says, and God created the heaven. And if he created the heaven, he wasn't inside it. Come on. So then God is not in heaven. Mm. Oh. He says, hell was created for what? For the devil and his angels. But heaven is created for men. So who is in heaven? Men. The Bible says the men Christ Jesus. Oh, color is that So when Jesus is in heaven, that's the men. The God Jesus himself is in you and I. Let's go. That's why the flesh Jesus, the body is still there. Where is it? In heaven. Because heaven is for men. Wow. It's not for God. God lives far above the heavens. Did he not come to the people and say, yeah, God does not dwell in buildings that are created with hands. Doesn't dwell in this. It's too little for him. He doesn't dwell in a place he can create. He's bigger than his creation. So he can't be housed in a place. That's why it says, you went far above the heavens. If you read it, what does it say? To do what? To do what? Look at that. That he might feel all things. He might feel all things. He's bigger than anything he creates. He is inside everything he creates. He is in this phone right now. He's here. He's in this thing right now. He's in my watch. He's, my, uh, yeah. He's everywhere. I don't know if you're feeling this with me. So God 